Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Another Set of Eyes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at uh, charts and making them dynamic uh, using tables in Excel and the filter function. So here I have a properly structured data range in Excel. Properly structured meaning that there's no empty columns or rows, that uh, I do have a header row and it's either surrounded by empty rows or columns or it's up against the uh, the column letters or the and or the row numbers so uh, here's my uh, data range I'm going to convert this to a table easiest way to do that is just click anywhere in the data range and use the keyboard shortcut control T dialog box will pop up uh, confirm that my data range is correct that I have headers and I say OK and now here I have a table in Excel so next, I want to add a chart. So the simplest thing to do is just highlight the areas of my table that I want to use in my chart. I'm using everything but column B. And then I can use two different, one of two different uh, keyboard shortcuts. Alt F1 if I want the chart to be on this worksheet, or F11 if I want it to be on a separate worksheet. I'm going to do it right here, so I'm going to hit Alt F1 and my chart appears. So now I have my table and I have a simple uh, chart in Excel. So now as I filter my data here, let's say I just want to see regions 1 and 2 and not 3 and 4, I say OK, my chart dynamically adjusts. If I want to also eliminate Betty and Dave, again the chart will automatically change as I use my filter. So this is a nice way of creating various charts based on your filter data and have that show and then you can cut and print them or save them uh, for future use. And there you have it. Simple way to have dynamic charts with filtered data. Hope it's useful to you. Hope you liked it. Thanks for stopping by and if you'd like to see more please go to my website excel-bytes.com and feel free to subscribe. Happy excelling.